So this is a nifty little situation. I'm going to do a, a handful of small snippets and either bundle them all together or just post them up. And hopefully you guys will be able to have, you'll have a chance to watch them all and we'll see what happens. Uh, <clears throat> I need to double check the odds here because I, I thought it was armor uh, and mechanized that were halved across major rivers, but it's everything. Uh, is is halved across major rivers, so that's the first thing we need to double check here. So we're going to we're attacking this hex here, and because this bridge is blown, and even with a bridge, there's no zones of control that reach across. So I have this ideal opportunity where this stack of units here can attack this hex and not have to soak off an attack here. So I've got uh, two, four. Uh, 14 there and let's just count this up so that's going to be seven uh, and here I've got another eesh, another 10 another 14 another seven so there'll be another seven total it was 14 uh, I can't be right yes it was 14 uh, factors altogether so Put these guys here. So it was seven, and I said the defender had three. I got fourteen, so that is only going to be a four to one. But it's going to be a plus two because we are not going to be able to supply that, which means I can't use artillery, which is one of the things I did not factor into this, this attack. And you can see here, it looks like I marked this as a five to one earlier on. I went through, this is a couple of weeks ago. I haven't touched this game for a couple of weeks. So we may have, may have not been paying attention when we were doing that. So I rolled a four. So it's going to be a net six on a four to one, which is not going to be too bad. With any luck, it'll be a DR. Four to one. What did I say it was? A six. And this is why I hate this freaking table. <sighs> right. You know, oh no, that's right. This is the reverse of most of his other games. Uh, high numbers are good. Uh, so why am I adding two then? That doesn't make sense. Should be subtracting two, which is gonna make it a one, two. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, the DRM is in favor of the defender, so it's a minus two to the die roll. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm all confused here. Wrong game. Adding two is indeed gonna make the result, the higher the number, the less attractive that the result is. But here we have a six, Was gonna, um, four to one, it's gonna give the attacker two step losses and the defender one step loss. So he's gonna take a step loss and there's, no forces in range uh, to, uh, let's see, I'm going to take two step losses here, so I guess there's one, and unfortunately I'll lose that guy, lose the AA, <clears throat> and we don't penetrate the hex, that's a real bummer, so that was 18th Panzer and 10th SS attacking. All right, so here, uh, just this attack right here, we've got seven to one. We're using some units from on, at the bottom of this stack and these two stacks, and we're gonna attack there. It's a, a minus two DRM uh, because there's no supply. And then there's gonna be a uh, plus one beneficial because we've got an engineering unit in here so it's going to be a net plus one uh, minus one to the die roll nine and that's going to drop back that's a nine we rolled that's going to drop uh, from a retreat it's going to drop back to a one one not a good result we'll flip that guy and we have to take a step loss and i think i'll lose a step off of one of the units. Uh, this, while this is not a marker, I'm running short of markers. 
All right, Magnus can put that underneath, and then over minus. So that attack is done. This attack here was a blowout, 10 to 1, <coughs> even unsupplied, and we're not using any hardy. And then we've got this attack here. I'm just going to pause the video and we'll uh, do some math. Okay, and this attack here is going to have 43 factors. There's some heavy uh, armor there, 43 versus 4. This is a zero unit. It's a plus one for the strong point, but a plus one for the engineer, so they wash it out, so it's a net plus two. Uh, and I said 43, it's a 10 to one attack, no matter what, this dude's dead. So, um, we'll roll the dice, the exercise becomes a six, it doesn't matter. Uh, he's dead. A six is gonna be actually, yeah, an E. Uh, no, one, two. Keep going the wrong way. <laughs> it's plus two dumbass. So uh, an eight is gonna become a 10. It's a one, it's a two R. So they're gonna, well that guy's a zero, so he doesn't count. So he still loses two, so he's still gone. All right, that all makes sense. There you go. And then we get to advance in. So I'll work out what we do with that advance uh, in a second. That's gonna go into there. And I've got a couple more attacks. They're not uh, super crit, so I think we'll, uh, turn this off for now not the results we wanted overall to press across the river we uh, did not we, we knocked out two divisions here which is great of tanks this does give us an opportunity potentially to put a bridge bridge unit in we didn't push these back units back here um, and uh, that result probably would have been even worse because there was marsh there so that's bad uh, what would that be a plus it would have been halved. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Which is surprising. Um, and these unsupplied attacks all went in okay. This was expensive because we lost uh, we lost steps here. So as you can see, as we outstrip our supply on a continued basis, you know, the die rolls are gonna come against us eventually. We're starting to see uh, the number of steps lost build up to the uh, oops, now I gotta remember, remember where these guys were. Uh, the number of steps lost uh, continues to build up very slowly for the Germans, but nevertheless, it's happening. So, something to keep our eye on. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, more, uh, sorry, uh, this is turn seven, by the way, just not turn seven, turn 13, wrong game, turn 13 of. Uh, uh, EFS in the AGC module. Ciao.